I drove Alyssa to the school and as she was leaving, she asked me to go, when I go home, to send, get her Spanish book and bring it to school. So I go home and I'm in a room, I'm looking for the Spanish book, I don't see it anywhere. But in the meantime, she's texting me, mom, get the Spanish book, mom, get the Spanish book, like literally like six times. And then she's like, go to the car and look in the car for the Spanish book. So I, I'm upstairs in a room, now I run downstairs, I get to the car, I'm looking for the Spanish book, and then I don't see the Spanish book, but I look on the floor and I see her retainer. And I lost it. So I run up to her room, and I go ballistic. I trash her room. I'm throwing everything on the ground, flipping her bed up, throwing everything on the floor. And so I then take pictures of her room and I text it to Alyssa and I go, not here. So Alyssa comes home from school. Hello everyone. This is what happens to my room when I, <laughs> I ask my mom to send me a picture of my Spanish textbook. This is what happens. Just a nice clean room, and then it gets trashed, and I have to clean it now, or else I'm grounded. <laughs> it was Valentine's Day, and that morning I drove Alyssa to school, and we got to the light at the school, at Stoneman Douglas High School, and I opened up the car door, and she was looked so beautiful. She was wearing a black and white dress, white Converse sneakers, and her hair was just perfect, and her makeup was perfect. And I told her I loved her, and she got out of the car, and that was the last time that I would talk to Alyssa or see her alive. This was only 14 years old. After February 14th, I'm in her room and I just take this one binder off of her. There was just a stack of things. And guess what I see? I see two Spanish books. 